Okay, so on this slide, they are just modeling and a reminder of how to do a Punnett square. I'm gonna show you again using paper. You can do this entire slideshow on paper from here on out if that is something that you find um, works better for you. Otherwise, you can continue to drag and drop. You don't need to actually fill anything in on the slide. Just a reminder, Punnett squares, you're just drawing a square. Mine is a little messy. Okay, I would like you to number your squares with a slide number. This is one that um, doesn't necessarily, wouldn't be on your work, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. And we have a cross that is heterozygous crossed with heterozygous. So it's capital T, lowercase t, crossed with capital T, lowercase t. All right, and remember capital T is dominant, lowercase t would be recessive, so tall would be dominant over short if we're talking about pea plants. So we're gonna take this parent and I'm gonna separate those alleles across the top. And then I'm gonna take this parent and separate the alleles across the side. Okay, capital T, capital T. So I'm gonna take this one down, down and over, capital T, capital T, down, and over. So capital T, capital T. I'm gonna address this one very quickly. There would be an inclination to write this. I'm gonna do this right here. Lowercase t first, capital T second. Is that incorrect? No, you just have to know that this genotype, lowercase t, capital T, and this genotype, capital T, lowercase t, are the same. So in general, we always put the capital letter first. So we would, if you write it this way, rewrite it with the capital letter first. Okay, let's keep on doing this. Down and over. Down and over. All right, so we have our four possible offspring. I'm gonna write the different genotypes out to the side. So we have three different genotypes represented here. Capital T, capital T capital T, lowercase t, lowercase t, lowercase t. Okay, on the slideshow they use percents. If you want to write them as fractions, that's fine. They will always be one-fourth, two-fourths, or three-fourths, or four-fourths. All right, capital T, capital T. There is one out of the four. That is 25%. Capital T, lowercase t, we've got two out of the four. Four is always gonna be our denominator. That is 50%. Lowercase t, lowercase t, that is one out of the four, 25%. All right, now for phenotypes. Now, capital T, capital T is going to be tall. Capital T, lowercase t, capital T is dominant, tall. Tall. Lowercase t, lowercase t, this is homozygous recessive. So that one is going to be short. All right, so here we have tall, short, there are two possibilities. Three out of the four are tall, one out of the four is short. So that would be 75 percent, 25 percent. 